Finna reach my goal. Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can over edit a Fortnite montage in DaVinci Resolve without plugins. So, this has been a video that's been recommended to me a lot. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. So, as you can see, I already have my clip and my song lined up. I'm using the song Golds uh, by Darius King. It's a really good song, but it's like not really like hitting the algorithm anymore, but I still really like it. So, uh, what you're going to do first for the velocity is uh, unlink the clips like that and uh, go into retime controls right click and click retime controls uh, what you're going to do now is add a speed point by clicking this little triangle and uh, right here add a speed point make sure you add it uh, on the marker or like on the kill go to the frame where the gun is pulled out so I say there as you can see one frame the gun isn't pulled out the next frame it is so I'm at a speed point right there and then go to the middle of the two and on another speed point change the first speed the speed right here in the first section, 25. Change the second section to 400. And uh, what we're going to do now is t change the last section back to 25. And I'm just going to trim this uh, this clip down so it's not too long. And I'm actually going to just trim it down a bit more. And uh, what we're going to do now is, uh, as you can see, there is a hard kill. But uh, what you're going to do is on this speed point right here, the speed point on the kill, go one frame in front of that speed point and then drag the that speed point into that frame. And then just drag this back. And what you're going to do now so it lines up with the song, go on to the kill, which should be right here. I'm going to add my marker again and uh, I'm just going to line it up. Right, now that I have everything lined up, it should look like this. And uh, as you can see, the slow motion is very choppy. So what you're going to want to do is uh, click on the clip. Uh, and on this right hand side, uh, you should see something that says transformed, cropping, etc. Uh, go to the bottom of it and you should see retime and scaling. On retime process, uh, click project settings and uh, drop down to optical flow. Uh, this should basically make the slow motion way smoother as you can see. Finna reach my goal. And yeah, super speed I'm actually gonna put my play back to timeline proxy mode uh, quarter resolution uh, because it makes it uh, less laggy. So uh, now that we're done with the velocity, uh, what we're gonna want to do is uh, for the first build up, uh, add an adjustment clip like this on the effects tab right here. Add an adjustment clip and uh, just trim it down really short uh, and put it behind the kill. Like right there, that should be good. Like right behind the kill. And uh, just make it long so basically the adjustment clip starts uh, where the first speed point happens. So this is gonna be kind of confusing, but uh, you guys, I do recommend that you watch this video back multiple times to fully understand the concept. So uh, now that we have an adjustment clip over like that, go into the color tab. And right here, you should see something like this where my mouse is, where it just says 01. What you're going to do is click on that and uh, click Alt L on your keyboard. Uh, basically, this will make two like different videos. And uh, the first one we're going to do, click on 01 again. And uh, go into this wheel right here. It should be the third one. And just put everything to negative 100. The color boost, shadows, highlights, and uh, that should be about it. Don't change the saturation or hue. Uh, it will mess up everything. Uh, go into O2 now, so the second one, and uh, what you're going to do now is uh, go into like this thing that looks like a needle, or like a pencil or whatever, and uh, now this, what we'll do is basically, if you uh, click on it and like go onto like your video right here, let's say you want to click on the color blue, now that blue uh, will be the only color like isolated, and uh, Let's say you want to click on uh, brown, as you can see, it will look really weird. I'm actually going to choose the color of the builds like that, and as you can see, it looks really like bad right now because like there's just a lot of just randomness in the in like the what's it called, just in the clip. So I'm just going to move this around so it looks just how I want it. So around there, that's good. That's really good. I'm just going to click uh, put the denoise to like three. And it just makes it like smoother. And uh, now what you're gonna want to do is go into this curves tab right here, and uh, drop this down a bit. And uh, 
Actually, you might want to actually keep it up there, my bad, my accident. And go back into the first wheel that you played around with, but this time it's an O2. And change the hue, but what this will do is basically change it to whatever color you guys like. So let's say if you put the hue to zero, it'll make it kind of orange, like a lemonade color. If you put it to like 29, 30, it'll make it kind of purple. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just make it, uh, I'll just make it, yeah, I'll just, I'll put it like light blue. Uh, it looks quite cool. And what you're going to want to do now is go back into the edit tab. And uh, it should look like this. And uh, what you're going to want to do now is on the adjustment clip, make sure you have it selected. Go like in the middle of the adjustment clip, like try to make it like as best you can, like in the middle and fade in the adjustment clip and just make sure the fade ends at the middle. So it should look like this. Uh, if you guys don't know how to fade, it's just basically moving this little uh, rectangle right here. And like the more you put it closer, the more it fades in. And I'm just going to put it like I said before to the middle. So yeah, it looks super nice in my opinion. And uh, now that we're done with the with the first build up, what you're gonna want to do is uh, go into the adjustment clip again and uh, put it over the first adjustment clip that you added and make sure it's like the same length and everything. So it's basically a duplicate of that adjustment clip just without the the build up. So now that you guys have that, uh, go into the fusion tab. And uh, what you're gonna want to do now is. Uh, add my uh preset that i have in the description so now that you've added my pre-shake it does come with a lot of settings but none of these require plugins so they just come built in with davinci resolve and as you can see it makes it darker and uh, this is what i really like uh, it makes it darker and there's a camera shake in this so uh yeah it should look really nice and uh, now go back into the edit tab and fade that adjustment clip that you just added the preset onto and fade it in just about as much as you fade in the first adjustment clip. So it should look like this. And uh, maybe you think the the shake is too intense, so go back into the fusion tab, go into camera shake, and on the keyframe right here, maybe make it like 0.28. That should be good. So uh, it shouldn't be as intense. And uh, now, uh, what you're going to want to do is... Uh, Drag another adjustment clip and uh, just make it the exact same thing, uh, like just the exact same thing as the last two, make it the same length, everything. And what you're going to want to do now is uh, for this one, you won't have to go into the fusion tab or color tab. Uh, click on it and on the zoom right here, zoom X and zoom Y, it should be right here on the right hand side. Uh, on the transform, keyframe, zoom X and zoom Y. Uh, go to about two thirds into the adjustment clip, which should be like right here. Uh, put uh, zoom X to uh, 1.4 or 1.38. That should be good. And uh, go to the end and put it to 1.1. So uh, this should look really nice and it should look like this. Yeah, and that looks super nice in my opinion. Um, just take another look. And uh, now we're almost done here. We only need two more things to impact in the color correction. So uh, what you're going to want to do is for the impact, drag adjustment clip and put it next to the first adjustment clip. Just this time it's on the right hand side and uh, trim it on the kill. So it should just be like the length of the marker to the end. Uh, go to the fusion tab and drag my second preset, which is over edit impact, no plugins. And uh, just drag it in uh, and then just connect it. So like that, and like that. So uh, the keyframes might be a bit messed up. I don't know why that is, but put the overall strength to like 0.9 um, for the camera shake. For the flicker edition, put the range to 0.2. Uh, go to like two thirds and uh, put it back to zero. And for the camera shake, again, uh, it should be keyframed at 0.9. Go to like 16 frames in front, 16. Uh, so just find 16 right here. Uh, it should be like that and put it to zero. So it should look like this. And uh, for brightness, put this to uh, saturation zero and uh, keyframe it and then go to the end and put it back to one. 
and for glow for this uh put the glow to like maybe like point thirty three four five go to the end and put it to zero so it should make a really cool impact uh just like this and uh, yeah in my opinion it looks super nice uh, maybe you'll actually want to extend this uh maybe 60 frames so i'm just going to extend this to like 60 frames so it should look like this and uh, yeah that looks super nice in my opinion what you want to do now is add like a fifth adjustment clip or a fourth adjustment clip and this time it will be a bit different because uh, you will want to have it over everything like all the adjustment clips that you've added and uh, just over the clip and put it like I said before over everything and uh, what you're going to want to do now is go into the color tab and uh, make the hue uh, 51.5 and make the saturation like 60 so it makes a, a like a really nice overhead color correction really similar to like some magic bullet looks color correction but uh yeah i do like this one a lot and as you can see super nice and i think we're almost done <laughs> one thing that uh, will be optional for this tutorial is the sound effect as you can see the sound for this uh clip isn't good it's just like the mechanical keyboard just like uh just playing in the background Finna reach my goal. So I'm just gonna delete that audio track and add in one of my personal adjust or one of my personal uh, sound effects that I do have here. It is God SFX and I'm gonna add the Godly Pump SFX. I'm just gonna add it on so it should look like this. And uh, yeah, we are done now. Uh, hope you guys did, did enjoy this like mini tutorial. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. I'm trying to hit the algorithm, boys. Come on. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.